Hot diggity, I was not expecting that. There are tons of brands for welding wire. So I decided to pick up a good range and that would include the cheapest stuff I can find up to of course the Lincoln, which is the most expensive. And I threw in some old Chicago electric. They don't make it anymore simply because I've always wondered if welding wire has a shelf life and if it still welds good. Starting now with the cheapest wire I can find. This is the Kisswell. Supposedly it's made in America and it was $25.50 for two two pound rolls. So that only makes it $6.38 per pound. All these tests will be done with the same titanium 140 machine and more importantly about it, I am using the exact same settings for each one and those are the suggested settings listed on the panel. I went through a phase of Blue Demon and I actually ran probably about five or six spools of this stuff through my Titanium 125. I picked up this two pound spool for $18.50 and that makes it about $9.25 per pound. The welds are all done on eighth inch coupons and I'll be doing a four inch fillet weld on a T-joint. If you are new to welding and you find a wire that you like, well, check out a 10 pound spool. As you can imagine, it's a lot cheaper to buy in bulk. Just be aware that some welders, you can't put this big of a spool on there. For example, the Titanium 125 can't take it. So if you got a larger bay, all the better. Everybody knows you can pick up the Vulcan at Harbor Freight and crazy prices have gone up. This thing last year was about $17.50 and now it is $22 for a two pound spool, thus making it $11 per pound. This is by far the most used wire in my garage, mostly because I've got a Harbor Freight right next to my work. So of course it's easy to stop by and pick some up. Some people dog on it, but I've had very few issues with it. So I am curious how it turns out compared to the rest. The most expensive is the Lincoln Inner Shield. These things, don't be fooled, they only come in one pound spools. So it's not a two pound. So if you see the price at only about 18 bucks, don't think it's that great of a deal because it is $18 per pound. And if you're really in a bind, you can pick it up at Home Depot, but they sell it for about 22 bucks per pound. All of these wires are E71 wire. It's a very common flux core wire and they are all 0 0.030 or 30 thousandths of an inch diameter. As a bonus, I found in my stash a brand new roll of Chicago Electric. Now Harbor Freight still has a lot of Chicago Electric tools and even those welders, the black ones, those are the Chicago Electric line but they stopped selling Chicago Electric wire quite a while ago when kind of the Vulcan line came out. I threw it in because you might be in the same boat. You might find some old wire, maybe in your grandpa's garage and wondering if it would still work if you threw it in the machine. I haven't cleaned them up yet. And so just looking at the spatter and kind of the flux coating over them right now, you honestly can't even tell a difference on which one's which. It does help that I was using the same machine, same settings, and I did really try hard to actually go the same speed, same stick out, everything. I wanted to keep them all identical. So let's clean them up and see if maybe actually the welds tell a different story. If you haven't figured it out by now, the one in the thumbnail is the Blue Demon. I would be more than fine using any of these wires. The welds themselves all turned out great. I have no complaints. Now, some of them did clean up a little better than the others. The Blue Demon and the Lincoln have almost zero spatter. And that was using no spatter spray for any of them. That was just with the wire brush and a wire wheel. Now, I do always use spatter spray, so it's kind of hard to judge them off of that itself. So if you are going strictly off of appearance, I guess maybe you could go with the Lincoln or the Blue Demon. And if you're anything like me, well, it's gonna be going off of price. So I would say pick up whatever good deal you can find. Whether it be a Kisswell, Blue Demon, Vulcan, you're probably not gonna find a good deal on the Lincoln. So 
you know, don't forget about finding those sweet stashes hidden in your grandpa's garage. And now you know it will still turn out a pretty good weld. Thanks for watching. We'll see you next time.